Okay, Tom Steyer's Christmas tie was deeply distracting the entire time. And I want to say Andrew Yang brought up the topic of automation. The only reason why we're talking about automation is because an entrepreneur from New York, not from California, I messed that up when he was on here, brought it to the forefront, and he had a way better answer than Elizabeth Warren did. Hmm. And also, I think, uh, you know, it's one of the things that people slammed your mom about because people forget that, you know, it's not immigrants coming over and taking your jobs away. Your jobs are being phased out. They are being yeah. done by uh, machines. So let's be realistic about what's going on and, and find ways to get people, to encourage people to find new ways of of moving your life ahead when you know because we've seen it happen when automation comes in a lot of stuff disappears but we'll be at least on the democratic stage those were issues that were being discussed yeah. right at yeah. least yeah like gun violence was discussed have to if you look at the breadth and depth of her of her plan the money has to probably come from taxing the middle class as well. I, I think, think that's just the truth. She can take some of that money, that trillion dollars that Amazon yeah. is sitting on. Yeah. Well, that's what she was saying initially. Well, no, uh, no you know, the only that one anymore. that said it is Andrew Yang. And I still don't understand why that idea of trillion dollar companies which is something we've never had in this kind of know that we've never had in the company before well you know what let me shut up we'll be right back <laughs> making my point, I'm going to try to make it more succinct than I was doing. In 2018, 60 Fortune 500 companies paid zero federal income tax, according to the Institute of Taxation and Shameful. Economic Policy. Companies like Amazon, Delta, Chevron. Amazon became a trillion dollar company last year. The idea that I don't mind. See, I don't mind if you're not paying your taxes because you've built this amazing company. This is still America where we say you can come here and build a company. I'm all for that. But if you're making a trillion, if you're a trillion dollar company, we should be benefiting from that as people who are a maybe part of families whose companies have been closed because you've opened this gigantic thing that's okay i don't mind that you're making money i like making money but when you become a trillion dollar company you need to pass some of that on and that two cents that you want to take from me after all the taxes that i'm paying for your phone tax you don't know what your phone tax is for do you, you don't know what any of those taxes are for. Mm -hmm. You're traveling on the highways, you're paying uh, a toll. You're paying taxes just to stay here. I want some of that money back, and I want it from the places where we spend a lot of money, and those are those big companies. That's what I want them to tell, because people can't send their kids to camp, because they can't write anything off now. I don't like that. It was the, that little bit of money that you got back was something you could you could look forward to. I mean, my I'm kid was like, yeah. February is coming. I'm going to get that check. Yeah. You know, it doesn't happen anymore. February came. No check. She was mad. <laughs> she was really because it's that, you know, I don't have to do everything for her. That's the money she deals with her grandkids with. She can do what she needs to do. And that money has gone. So yeah. if you if we're just working to pay taxes for stuff that isn't helping us, I don't see why we can't dip and get some of that. Well, I think all of the candidates have mentioned that they're going to roll back a lot of the Republican tax mm -hmm. code. That, Thank the, you, the one that was The one that was yeah, just... Yeah, he uh, was good on that last that night. Was, that, that was changed. Mm -hmm. That was a huge topic last yeah. night. That was like a 30-minute right. part of the debate was just the size of these companies and what they're each going to do. And then it went into some strange back and forth about whether Trump's Twitter account should be deleted. Yeah, but I think the sunny <laughs> point is a really good one, right? Is that one of the reasons this is such an acute conversation is not only do we have companies paying a lot of money to avoid paying taxes, mm -hmm. which I think is shameful, um, but we're also living in a reality where the Trump administration with the Republicans in Congress slashed corporate tax rates, right? right? And not only are they not paying their fair share, Whoopi, you know, they're not helping to be the world kind of that we want, I think, all our kids to grow up in. Yeah. Help paying for clean water, paying for good yeah. infrastructure, yeah. paying for they universal health care. They could be much better corporate citizens. Yeah. They could be much better corporate yeah, citizens the way they are going to benefit. That's a Republican idea anyway, just the, the idea that companies should give so much more back to society in the sense that, like, you know, for example, like my grandpa created a company and he gave 
basically all of his money back to building a cancer hospital. Mm -hmm. Do what you can in your community, in your mm -hmm. environment, to help the people around you, to help the people yeah. that you serve. Well, that's generally the, the, the notion, right? The Republican notion. It may, may can, can speak to it better, but yeah, that the, the corporations are given these tax, uh, these tax cuts because they think then they're going to hire more people. There'll be more jobs. They're going to put it, you know, back into the community. That I don't happen. see that happening. Yeah. It that seems like happen. people are just reinvesting in their own and companies, buying back, buying back their stock, and not necessarily investing in the communities where they're opening up stores, not raising uh, salaries for people in their companies. So I don't know why that is still the notion, about, yeah, but, wow. but that's, there are some it doesn't seem to that, work. We that shouldn't trust them just to do that, just, right? Yeah. That's why we need to have higher taxes on them so that it is expected yeah. of them that yeah. they then do that. And somebody said age came up yesterday. Is that correct? It did. Uh, stars, and it's nice to, to be able to support that and be proud of your candidates for your party. So one of my dear close friends is like hashtag king of the Yang Yang. Hi, Ty. And he literally wanted me to ask you. He was like, oh, I think she likes Yang. When he I asked love him, like, him. Can you tell me why? I can, hashtag actually. Hashtag math. <laughs> well, yes. I think, um, I think he has, first of all, changed the narrative. We were talking about things in that debate last night that are specifically because Andrew Yang has brought that up. Um, I like the fact that he says, talking about his freedom dividend, that he says, look, all of these tech companies are actually mining our data for free. We're giving up every single search, every phone call we make, every purchase. We are giving up our data and we're getting nothing in return. Uh -huh. So the freedom dividend, if we look at it like that, like we're actually getting paid for them mining our data. Yeah, I think it's really, really smart. It lifts people out of poverty. The poverty level is $12,000 in this country a year. So if you're giving people $1,000 a month, that's $12,000 more. So that's $24,000 a year, which I think is great. And it's changing the conversation. And I think that's really important. So I'm not officially Yang Gang, but I'm like, you know, Jason, Yang Gang. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Yang Gang adjacent. Does he really have a shot at becoming the candidate and becoming the president? Um, I'm not thinking of any of them like that right now. Okay. And I think we get in a really dangerous place when we set our minds so early on candidates. Mm -hmm. I'm collecting information and trying to be an educated voter. Right. And I feel like the longer we, we wait between when we make our decision to, the, to the, the day we vote, that's when things get really like uh, passionate and, and too ugly. Because mm -hmm. then we start the infighting and the yeah. splintering off. And that's why, like, I, I haven't endorsed anybody because mm -hmm. what, what does it do for, for any of us? I, I think everyone needs to go in there and make up their minds, educate themselves, mm -hmm. and then vote for, from their heart. And, and we don't early. have to know. I don't, I don't have to know. It's early. Yeah, it's our, early. Our primary so in New York is six months away. Yeah, so yeah. much can happen. Six months it's away. Very now early. And then. So I want to switch gears um, to your podcast called Sorry Not Sorry. Yes. Um, and yesterday marked the two years.